Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today is the end of February. I hope you had a nice Valentine's Day. Mine was nice and you said I love you to somebody special. So today is the last day of February, like I said, and we have exciting things on today's show. Welcome to my channel. just a minute. Uh, we do have an exclusive, as I showed you earlier, about the Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital in Seattle. So this is the first place you're going to see that exclusive. Uh, and we'll talk about that later. And Brad, take it away. Hypothetical. Okay, okay. Let's just say that I die. Would you remarry? Yes, I would. Remember last week when you had the sniffles? I joined eHarmony.com. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I really die, go to heaven, and you do remarry. You love this woman. You love her just as much as you love me. Then she dies and goes to heaven. Then you die and go to heaven. And we're all in heaven. <laughs> Who would you spend eternity with? <laughs> Neither. It's called heaven. <laughs> Till death do us part. Do I have to spell this out for you? We're over. I'm hooking up with angels. It's in my rider. All right. I'll tell you, I, uh, married guy, married. Marriage isn't always easy. I find romance harder as I get older. Like when I was a kid, it was easy. Like when I was young, I remember talking on the phone with a girl all night long. Falling asleep with each other on the phone. Wake up, she's still talking. <laughs> Brad, you're such a good listener. I know, I know, I know. Marriage, man. Marriage, that, that changes things, you know? Uh, it's, it's not always easy. My wife and I, we have arguments. It's not a perfect relationship, but it's very strong. I think it's sometimes healthy to fight, you know? Let it out. Her latest tactic when we have an argument is to give me the silent treatment. I'm like, you sure you're mad at me? Because this is more like a reward than a punishment. <laughs> what are you going to do when you're really mad? Make me my favorite dessert and rub my back? <laughs> it's ridiculous. No incentive, you know. I always wanted to be married, though. I always wanted a companion in my life. All my friends were like, don't do it. Don't do it. Just get a pet. I'm like, no way, that's a big responsibility. <laughs> yeah, not again. I want to tell you guys a story right now. You ready? This is a true story. It's not embellished. It's not fabricated. What I'm going to tell you, I promise you, word for word, the truth. I have negative 21 vision, everybody. I wear thick Coke bottle glasses, all right? 
I wear them. People think I'm developmentally disabled when I wear my glasses. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's funny. <laughs> Here's the story. I'm in the supermarket, the express lane. Every one of you know this aisle. Every one of you take this aisle very seriously, don't you? Don't you? Don't you count other people's stuff? <laughs> So I'm in the express lane, I'm wearing my developmentally disabled glasses, and I'm way over. My cart is filled to the brim with stuff. Behind me are two guys with army fatigues. I get it, I know I'm over. I do the right thing, I give them the go ahead. They look at me in my glasses. Don't worry about it, champ. <laughs> are you on a field trip? I was mortified, I, like I couldn't even believe this was happening. <laughs> then it just hit me, I had this moment of clarity, called it an epiphany, but I was like, you can milk this. I'm like, thank you! I forgot my wallet! It worked. Oh yeah, they paid for my stuff, they carried my bags, they drove me home. We're still friends, I love those guys. Jews, we're not tough, we're not macho, but we're smart. We'll actually invent things to make up for our own inadequacies. Circumcision, that's ours. That's right. We said, hey, if it can't be big, let it be cute. Brilliant. Well, I hope you enjoyed Brad. I'm giving him a bad four and a half. Once again, my, my opinion, my sense of humor, totally different than yours. So take a look at it. His link will be below. Take a look at it. Uh, his whole show is only 22 minutes. It's not that long. Give it a shot. Today, we have an exclusive expose about the Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital in Seattle. This report is done with the Seattle Times and in cooperation with KING5 King 5 in Seattle. Now the way it's working, the Seattle Times is not going to print this story until later today and KING5 is going to show, have a story about this tomorrow night. It's all about the Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital in Seattle. A death mill. That's right, friends, a death mill. Our, our investigation has been conducted over the past six months showing shocking numbers and shocking information. How this hospital has not been closed is beyond belief. The death rate is 34%. Three out of, over three out of 10 people going to that hospital die. That's right, they die from malpractices of all kinds. Sloppy, sloppy surgeon, sloppy operating room, people who don't know what they're doing. There's cases they, that we found in our six months investigation that the break rooms, the rooms that doctors are supposed to use to get rest, they're turning into sex rooms, little brothels between the doctors and nurses and doctors and doctors. There's even been a shooting in the operating room while we were there. A shooting. They almost killed a patient. Somebody broke in and was able to get into an operating room with a gun. And interns are preyed upon by the doctors and turned into sex slaves. The whole hospital it seems to be one massive sex camp. They've had ambulances blow up in front of the hospital. It's a wonder they haven't had more people killed there. There's a road infestation. While we were there, we were seeing mice running all over the place. Is this the place you want to go if you get sick? And the doctors, once they're there, they can't even quit. If they try to quit, they're killed. It's worse than the mafia. It is so bad. It is so bad there that the founder of Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital is leaving the hospital. They're walking away. They don't even care they get their money. They're just walking away. 
So if you live in Seattle, stay away from the Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital. This is not the place you want to go if you get sick. This has been exclusive to our channel. So that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed our show and got some information about the Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital in Seattle. Have a nice week. Spring is not that far away. 21 more days. And as Fox says, live long and prosper.